Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 60. But before proceeding to the problem statement, I have a request to all my users if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you can get, get all my future video updates. Now let's come back to the problem statement. It says that given below is a stock table which consists of uh, date key column stock name column and the price column you can see we have date key column stock name stocks name column and the price column now this telling write a sql query to derive another column called market price where it is going to forward fill null values with the last no, not null value what it means that if you see this data you see the Infosys stocks has the price as 1400 on the 1st of January 2023 and you can see on the 2nd February as January it is null so it should populate the, the same non-null values that is 1400 you can see here in this in the uh, row number from 4 to 6 you can see again uh, the price is null so what we have to do we have to uh, populate the uh, last non null value that is 1450 you can see here 1450 is populated so this is how we have to get the output let's see how we can do this in sql server before proceeding to the solution let's see our input table once again so i'm going to fire select a star from table name that is stocks so this is our input table wherein we have date key column, stocks name table and the price column. Now we have to derive another column called market price where it should populate uh, a non-null value wherever you see the null value. So let me start. Let me write select a star from table name that is stocks. Now I'm going to replace star with all the column name. It's a best practice to have all the column name instead of uh, um, a star. So date key, stocks name, and stocks name. And then we have another column called price. So this is, uh, these are the columns present in this stock table. Now I am going to derive another column over here for that i will be using count function and in that i am going to use price column count of price and then i am going to use over clause and in this over clause i am going to partition by partition by stocks name and then i am going to order by order by date key and will give alias as let's say as rank so let me run this piece of code and let's see what result we have got now you see that we have we we are able to produce rank wherever you see the rank uh, wherever you see the non-null values the rank is one and the same value is repeated for non-null values so what it is doing you must be know uh, must be aware that count of any column name uh, igno uh, ignores the null value it doesn't uh, count that null value uh, uh, count so uh, what this window function will do it will count each row so for this row it is one and it is partitioned within the stock name and in the second row since it is a null value the same rank will be repeated again here you see the, we have non-null value so it is count has increased by one so it becomes two and then again it is a null value so the same count will be uh, there for these null values see if this is for another uh, uh, partition data that is uh, reliance and for this again for this non-null value count is one and then again the same count is there one one and then here we have different value so it, it has increased by value one and here again different value here increased by again one and it is three and since there is non-null value it is same value is repeating so we have got the rank now our task is very easy now let's see let me put this all this in a cte so i will give with cte underscore let's say as rank 
as we'll open the bracket and I'm going to close this bracket and then I'm going to select uh, these all these columns from CT underscore rank and here I will be deriving a column that is market price for that I'm going to use uh, another window function called first underscore value first underscore value so what it does it gives the first value in the ordered set so let me show you first value so in this I'm going to take this column price column and then I'm going to use over clause and then I'm going to partition my stock name so first I'm going to partition by this stock name and in this and I'm after in this I will be partition I will be doing partition again by rank derived column so I will be using this column and then I'm going to order by date key column and we'll give alias as market price as market price now let me run this piece of code so this is the expected result and you can see all uh, null values are populated with the last non null value for better understanding let me put a uh, rank over here rank column as well and now let's analyze the result so now you see that since we have done a partition by a stock name and the rank it will form one partition and in this first value is 1400 and that's why you can see both values populated as 1400 now for this set this set uh, the first value is for 1450 and it is populated for this set uh, the first value is 2300 and it is populated so this is how we have got achieved the result if you have liked my video please do give thumbs up and if you know by any other way by which you can solve this problem you can write in the comment section thank you and thanks for watching